Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number six. And we're going up against an alliance called Los Hechaceros Supremos. I don't know what that says, but Supremos, Supreme, the something Supreme, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, let's go on in here. And let's see. So they haven't banned any of those three. Who have they banned? Ooh, they banned Hercules and Corvus and Human Torch. Interesting. Interesting band choices. Okay. Let's do a preview here. See what we got. All right. So, oh boy. No one on the first node. Then we've got Toad. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's why they don't want Corvus. They got some nice Corvus charges we can get. Look at that. Okay, um, I'm not sure with Toad. I don't really fight Toad. Um, I have to think about that. Toad. Hmm. We've got Namor up here. Claire could do that fight. Warlock could do that fight too, I think. Got Doom down here. Uh, unless somebody takes him, Spider-Man 2099 could take that fight. I'm not touching that apocalypse there. Havoc, annoying. Um, normally, Warlock would be a good counter for Havoc, but that EMP modification is the annoying thing. So... I'm not sure who the best is to take against uh, that Havoc. Probably uh, Doom. Perhaps Doom. Not sure. Colossus, we already know that's Claire. We've got Penny Parker. Claire can do that fight, no problem. And we've got, aha, no Corvus. Corvus would be a good option for that. But Warlock can do that fight. I've done it with Warlock before. All right. Ooh, and a Sasquatch. So uh, if I get a chance, maybe I'll be able to uh, put what I've learned in the last time I fought Sasquatch to in the practice and see if I don't time out this time. That should be interesting. Okay. So Spider-Man 29, Claire, and Warlock seem to be good for uh, this war as well. Maybe I'll do Warlock against this uh, Toad. But I think Claire can handle this one as well. All right. I think that's the plan, all right? So let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're back, and we're gonna go in with this team. I didn't get to do a um, boss fight this war, um, but we did have a couple of uh, fights in here that were a little interesting, a little bit interesting. Uh, so nobody on that first node. This fight here, my first fight, I don't remember having to fight Toad in war on my path. I may have, but I don't remember doing it. But I like to use Black Widow Clairvoyant for this node because of the uh, buffs on this node. And even though there's a Mystic Ward with Claire, she has a chance on every hit. That doesn't really bother her whatsoever all right now what i ended up doing here uh for a little bit i went to check a couple of things and and look at some fights and i formulated a plan and my plan was to basically stay in her curse of plague so that she's poisoning me right here don't want to come out of this one it also has a little bit of power control so that's not too bad. But I want to bait out his special one. 
because I'm just more comfortable evading that. It's really easy. You just have to distance it. That's it. Uh, the special two, you got to remember not to get hit by that last ball of poison spit or something that he throws. Uh, but look at this. I'm just getting hit up. I don't know why. Uh, it happens. Especially in war. It happens a lot. So what I decided to do here was bait, get him close, fire off my special three. I didn't know what was going on, why I was getting hit like that. So I said, let me just fire her special three off. And that was it. And that was the fight. What a way to end the fight. I like her um, her special three animation. is really cool. Uh, that little touch right at the end is just oh, bad. Uh, but anyway. So, um, as usual, uh, I like to take the mini if I don't have anyone on that first node. And I'm usually the first one in because of time zone. And uh, I don't usually see uh, the other two guys that uh, take the left side with me uh, until the next day. I'm usually uh, waking up and uh, they've already cleared the path. And uh, if they need me to take that mini, I'll find them just stopped there. Um, but we've we've been making it work. All right. But in any case, uh, this fight, you saw that I put up a nice little uh, invulnerability boost because I didn't want any shenanigans. And there's often shenanigans. And I had a lot of these. I think I had uh, one or two that uh, were going to expire. And I haven't even claimed all of Kabam's compensation. There's like four that I haven't claimed. So I'm not too worried about the invulnerability, but as you saw, didn't really need it. But it was a nice little uh, safety net, you know, a little insurance. It's one of those things that, you know, you hope you don't need, but you want it if you need it. But if you don't need it, you start questioning, did I really have to get it? But I'd rather uh, be safe. All right. so. This is the next day. Um, I woke up, and as you can see, they cleared their lane. Uh, the middle is cleared. Uh, sometimes before I go to bed, they'll clear or they'll get up to the middle, and I'll have energy and I'll be able to um, help out with the middle. But if they've taken a little bit too long, it's late. And I'm tired and I don't want to do war fights when I'm sleepy. And so late at night or when I'm, you know, starting to get ready for bed or early in the morning. Those are the times I really don't want to do any fights. So if they don't uh, get that fast enough, I'll just say, you know what, I'll deal with it in the morning. Um but this fight, standard, if you saw uh, the previous video, you already know Claire handles this unstoppable armor as usual. So I basically have to just be cautious. All right. And you'll notice I, I kind of, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I fight with a different tempo. Um, you know, you can have a rhythm and most of the time, my rhythm is fast because I don't like long fights. So I'm usually in there, bop, 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 bop. But when it's unstoppable armor, I'm usually bop, 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 okay? Because I'm kind of waiting to see if they're going to suddenly get unstoppable armor on me. Uh, so a little bit nervous. Now, this fight... I'm not looking forward to when they change her and, and they're going to be changing her uh, Monday, May the 2nd. <clears throat> so she's not changed now, but by the time you see this video, she probably will be. But Penny Parker has always been an annoying defender. Okay. And a lot of times we can get around her auto block 
by firing a heavy attack. You know, it's a block breaker, right? But they've changed it so that, um, or they will be changing it, so that she's going to resist block breaks when she has her sync shield up. So she's going to be much harder to fight. And I, oof, I'm not looking forward to it. I am not looking forward to it. But look at this. What, what was that? I'm like, are you kidding me? How fast does she recover from that? So at this point, I'm hurt and I'm in trouble. I'm in some big trouble in this fight. Uh, so my thought process now was maybe I can just fire off special threes. Okay. Um, I have to fight her like this in um, Alliance Quest. And see, once again, I just got the timing wrong, I guess. And, uh, and there we go. She got the block. It's really annoying when she has that sink shield up. Look at this. I'm just, I, at this point, I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll fight her kind of stun immune. You know, just do heavy attacks, which I won't be able to do once they change because she'll resist those now. And then cycle special threes. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking here to kind of maybe salvage this fight. But I can't make any more dis uh, mistakes. I can't take a whole lot of blocked hits. It it it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun, all right? So I'm thinking at this point, one more... Um, Special three should do it. Okay. So you can see here, I'm just countering um, with my heavy. All right. And I need her to fire that special one. She don't want to do it. She's lulling me, hypnotizing me. We're going back and forth, back and forth. She don't want to throw it, you know? And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Come on. And then she fires a heavy off. I mean, what, what, what is this? Come on, fire the heavy, come on. I mean, fire the, the special, right? Look at this, how much time wasted there? All right, so we got it, finally. And I decided, okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. She's down, boom. That was a poor decision on my part. She auto blocked my special and then countered before I could even react and I'm down. So perhaps if I had kept my plan, but what I was seeing there was I needed to get her power so that I could bait out her special ones, but I was having a problem. I was, I was sort, of, sort of caught in limbo. So I didn't know what to do there. I saw that I had a special and I'm like, okay, maybe if I can intercept her with a special, she only has 4% health left, I should be able to do it. No, I wasn't able to do it. So I was just like, all right, whatever. Not looking forward to the changes. She's already a very, very uh, annoying defender. And uh, when, they, when they change her, she's gonna be even worse, uh, at least in that one area. Now. They're also going to be fixing a bug, so maybe that will make, um, maybe it'll compensate for her being more difficult to use the heavy attack like you saw me doing there when she has her sink shield up. Uh, maybe it just means we have to fight her a little bit slower, which I'm going to hate. Um, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, adjust. And I have a six-star penny that I put on defense, so it's all good. All right. Now, you saw that I got hit by his special one, and that pissed me off. So that's why you see me changing my style up. Look at this. I'm just like, yeah, we're going to get this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, just just do some uh, reparrying and heavy attacks. Boom. Countering his heavies with my heavies. Boom. So... I don't know if you guys know this, but um, when he doesn't have his armors, he's not bleeding you. So that's what you saw. I, I got rid of all the armors, waited for them to go out. Then I was able to reparry and hit him with heavy attacks and put that bleed on him. 
All right, so that was the last fight that I did for this particular war. Uh, and uh, I forget who took down the boss, but it wasn't me. All right, I didn't get a chance to fight this Sasquatch. But uh, we'll be back in a little bit, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Finally, our losing streak has come to an end. And hopefully we will get a few more wins before this season is over. That last war was disappointing to more than just me. Uh, the leader and uh, some of the officers had some harsh words to say about some folk that clearly, you know, felt that it was a free ride. They weren't, uh, you know, really putting in the effort. Uh, really any effort at all. And uh, that was not the uh, direction the uh, Alliance wanted to go. Uh, so folks were warned uh, they needed to start pulling their weight or they were going to be let go. All right. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.